hello everyone just martin here and uh, this is my first minecraft feed the beast mod pack tutorial we are going to show you some stuff about uh, this little guy who is quite busy chopping down a tree um, there we go he's already going down let's just stand on his head he doesn't really mind uh, this is my turtle and um, I programmed him to chop down this huge tree and uh, that is not easy that is not easy at all but um, I will show you in a few videos on how you can make a turtle to how you can program it to do something as complicated as chop down a tree and then come down without like going all the way down to bedrock um, and then maybe I will also show you how to make this little guys these little guys that like collect stuff and all that but we are going to begin with turtles first so I'll see you guys in the first tutorial uh, today I am going to bring you a turtle tutorial today we are going to begin with the basics and when I say basics I mean really really basics so if you are a little bit more experienced with turtles you can go ahead and click the link in the description there will be a link to the second episode where we start with some more advanced stuff but uh, for now we will just start by showing you how to craft a turtle so to make a turtle you will need a computer which you craft by using smooth stone, a redstone and one glass pane uh, voila there we have a computer then you place the computer in the center of the crafting table surrounded by iron ingots and a chest and you have a turtle. Um, this turtle can't do anything except moving so we need to equip him with a tool. Um, I highly suggest you would use a diamond pickaxe for this. Uh, it has to be a diamond tool and it cannot have any damage so you can't use use tools for this. Um, I highly suggest I highly suggest you make a mining turtle because mining turtles are the best and why will you ask well I will uh, show you immediately well not I'll just explain it um, turtles can mine any block so any turtle can mine any block so um, whether the turtle has an axe or a pickaxe or a hoe it will be able to break cobblestone and diamond and all those ores and stuff but only the turtle equipped with the correct item will uh, get the drop so um, if you have a turtle that breaks a block of stone um, only the mining turtle with the pickaxe will get cobblestone all the other turtles will just destroy the block without uh, picking out picking it up uh, so yeah a mining turtle is in you can place it down and it looks like this there we go this is the front and uh, this is the back now uh, when you right click on it you come into this turtle interface and it's probably gibberish for all of you now but that's something we are going to explain now you can press directory and it will show you what folders are in the turtle now he says I have this folder ROM when you want to open it you do CD then the name of the folder you want to open so now I am in the folder ROM I can press directory again so now I can see all this new folders uh, if I want to go back I just do CD two dots then I go back but uh, I do not want to go back so I do want to get in ROM then I want to open programs I want to look at directory again and here you see a whole bunch of programs so now I can do a directory turtle and I will see a list of uh, turtle programs um, you can type any of these names like craft, dance, excavate, go, refuel, tunnel or turn and a turtle will execute them. Um, for now we can use dance. I, the turtle prints preparing to get down. If we go out of this then uh, you can see he does a little dance. Um, I can press any key to stop the groove now. So anyway, um, the thing is if I want my turtle to go say forward now um, I can go I can do go forward and he will say out of fuel so uh, you'll need to fuel this turtle. Um, as you could see previously in the dance program, the turtle can turn and break blocks without needing to have fuel. Because so, if you would like to just do use your turtle to break a block that keeps appearing in front of him, that's fine. You won't need any fuel. But if you want your turtle to move around, you'll have to fuel it. So there are a few ways you can use to fuel it. So you can use coal. 
um, then you just do refuel um, it has this slot selected and it will consume everything in there so if I put two coal in here and I do refuel he will consume one again um, you can also use charcoal refuel there we go but th the best way to do this is using lava refuel and of course if you mistype you will get an error so it gives you a thousand fuel levels now what this fuel level does is um, for every count y for every count you get here the turtle can move one block it can be forward back down up left right so um, this means my turtle can technically go 1240 blocks forward if I would want him to do that but I don't because that would be kind of stupid so anyway um oh shit it's getting night time so uh, let's do this then do this okay there we go anyway um now my turtle has a few errors because the basic programs are really basic if I ask my turtle to go forward you can add a number to this then it will try to go forward four blocks uh, you can see he stops here because there's grass in the way um, and the program is stuck so it will not move until I break this block so he can go on and now we can do but um, if you press up you can repeat the last command in case you really want to do him another forward so here he is stuck and I uh, suppose you can't or do not want to destroy the block in front of him you can just press control control and T just hold it and it will terminate the program um, this is quite handy because uh, sometimes your turtle stuck in the turtle loop and then you'll have to shut it down um, also a very useful tip is uh, when you're about to experiment with programs um, whatever you do do not immediately throw like five buckets of lava into the turtle because if you accidentally screw up and write an eternal loop that says let your turtle go up and he keeps going up well um, right now he'll probably go up a thousand blocks so uh, he'll disappear into whatever's up there so um, always try to test out your programs with a minimum amount of fuel you need for the program so like two coal or something so in case you screw up your turtle doesn't go like out of the world or out of reach or anything um, what I wanted to talk to you today was the basic programs of the turtle you have excavate which is sort of a quarry so you press excavate then a certain number like uh, four then you press enter and he will start excavating what this does is um, the turtle will make a square form uh, according to the number you pressed so I typed excavate 4 so he's going to make 1 2 3 4 he's going to make a square 4 by 4 then he's going to do this all along so he'll excavate uh, he'll keep going down until uh, until he runs out of fuel or if his inventory is full he will come back up and um, to his starting location so he started right here facing that direction so he'll drop off all his items right here um, if you have a chest or any other inventory here um, the turtle will drop off his items in the chest um, if you do not have an inventory here he will just drop off the items right here on this block so uh, they will despawn after five minutes or so so that might be um, something to account for um, also uh, if you stand in front of the turtle he will try to attack you you can't see it now because I'm creative because uh, well um, this thing will stop at nothing um, which can make it quite a pain in the ass to retrieve it because if this is a lava lake uh, your turtle will just go straight through he will not be destroyed or anything but the problem is if uh, it falls without power or fuel or whatever in the middle of a lava pool then you're having a hard time so um, the turtle will instantly collect every block it picks up so uh, the block will not be dropped um, or anything so um, if you are mining lava inside of um, lava uh, lava inside of lava uh, if you're mining diamonds inside of lava the turtle will 
immediately pick it up, it will not get destroyed by lava, so anyway, we're gonna terminate him now. Well, not him, but the program. Because uh, he'll keep going until bedrock, so um, now we want him to turn left, so the turns work left to right. Um, if you just type left, he'll turn left once, you can also turn two times to make a 180 or if you really want to dance with him you can make him do a 360 and stuff but anyway um you can make him turn left again we can go forward back down and up so i'm gonna make him go forward i'm gonna make him turn right and now i'm gonna make him use the tunnel program so that's another default program you just press tunnel then the length of the tunnel so five for example and he will start doing this, so um, he'll excavate a 3 by 2 tunnel um, for the length you told him to, so um, he's gonna go uh, 5 blocks fur and then he'll, uh, he'll stop. He's also gonna collect all of the blocks that he picks up, so you won't be missing any ores if you happen to have a chance. So this is excellent for branch mining or making tunnels or stuff. Well because the program is named tunnel and stuff so yeah um that's the tunnel program um then there's something else about our turtle i would like to show you is um oops i kind of derped up there cd cd dot dot oops anyway um you can enter the lua menu it's just lua and then you're in the lua menu and uh, what this does it uh, allows you to directly communicate with the turtle. So not like, hey turtle, what's up, but in here, normal programs don't work. So like tunnel 4, he gets an error message. What this means is you have to exactly type him what you want him to do by the exact commands. So if you want him to break the block before him, you have to do turtle dot dig, press these, and it's true. Um, you see, he said true. Well, that's a boolean value of some sort because uh, there's two boolean values: uh, false and true. So um, I asked him to dig in front of him. He digged in front of him, and then he said, uh, "That's true. I digged in front of me." Um, if I want to go forward, I can do turtle dot forward. He's gonna say true because he managed to move forward. But if I do the same thing right now, he's gonna say false because he can't move anymore. Um, this is very important because this will allow you to write a sophisticated program that allows your turtle to do all sorts of things. So, anyway, um, those are the two most useful programs in turtle um, interface thingy um, stuff. So, um, I showed you how to make a turtle, uh, why you should make a, a mining turtle, and I showed you the excavate and the tunnel command, and also a little bit about the Lua, which you do not have to know right now, but anyway, um, <coughs> I hope you found this useful, um, if you didn't, I'm sorry, this is only my first tutorial, so um, I would like some tips on how to improve. Um, if you think I am raping the English language, well, I'm very sorry, but I am not um, English, so that explains my somehow bad English. I'm very sorry about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you learned a thing or two, and um, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. Um, suggestions are always welcome, so uh, if you want me to do a tutorial of some sort, then I look into the matter and make a tutorial about that. Um, also stay tuned for episode 2 where we will teach you how to write your own your very own customizable turtle program uh, see you guys later